great day. So the other day I posted a picture on Instagram and it was just a day I was playing with some makeup, I was testing out some new It Cosmetics products and so many of you guys requested that I do a tutorial or a review or something along those lines. So that is what we're doing today. I'm gonna do a little tutorial for you guys all on these new products. It Cosmetics recently came out with like a bunch of new products. They have foundation, concealer, powder, a jumping blush. So yeah, It Cosmetics came out with all these new products recently and I'm gonna do a tutorial using all of them. So if you wanna stick around and see how I got this look using all the new It Cosmetics products, plus some of my other recent favorites, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's get started with this look. So I am going to be using the It Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination Foundation today. This is like their original CC Plus Foundation, but this is the illumination one, so it gives more of a glow to the skin. So speaking of glow, before I use it, I'm gonna actually use my Cover FX. This is the Mattifying Primer. Almost forgot about this step, but especially with a foundation like that, I wanna make sure that my skin stays as matte as possible. And this primer is just perfect for me. It really helps keep my T-zone matte and it has some salicylic acid in it so it's got some good skincare ingredients in it. I just love this primer. It's been like my go-to this summer. Okay so now that we have the primer on, now we'll be using the CC Plus Illumination Foundation. I am going to be using the shade Medium. So it comes in a pump like this and like I was saying it is pretty much like their original formula only it has more of that glow and illumination to it. So I'm going to pump a little bit on the back of my hand and just so you can see as I'm pumping it out you can see it is more of a thicker formula. It's not runny at all but it really blends well into the skin and doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. So I'm just gonna take this and dot this all over. And I have my eyes done already and it feels so weird to like be doing my makeup backwards because I always do my face first, like always. So it feels really weird to have my eyes done already. But Brian has a friend coming over um, from out of town, he's from, he lives in California and he's coming for the weekend. So we're actually going out to dinner tonight. So I didn't have a ton of time. So I figured I would just do my eyes a while and then show you guys all the face products. So I am just absolutely loving this foundation though. I mean, look at how, look at that. Like how that just makes my skin look. It's glowy yet flawless. Oh, and I'm using the It Cosmetics. The one that I always do, the brush, the airbrush buffing foundation, the 110 brush. My absolute favorite foundation brush and it just works perfectly with this foundation. Just like all the other foundations I use with it. Okay, so there it is on my skin. Do you see how it just looks flawless? The coverage is amazing. I'd say it's a medium to, you could probably definitely build it to a full. It feels amazing on your skin. It doesn't feel tacky or anything, but it just gives your skin a very hydrated, luminous look. And it's not over the top luminous like whatsoever. It's like the perfect amount. And again, it has the SPF of 50 and it has anti-aging ingredients in it. So this is the type of foundation I am just all about. I absolutely love it. So that's the foundation. I'm gonna move on to brows. I'm gonna be using the Armani Eye and Brow Maestro. This is in the number shade six, which is that Copal color that I've been using. I have been all about using this again. I totally had forgotten about it and I've been using it like every day since and I think my brows have been looking so good with this. So I'm gonna go apply this, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the brows on. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics CC Plus Eye. This is that concealer that I was raving about in my last Get Ready With Me video. It comes in a little squeezy tube like this with a little cooling tip applicator and I just smooth this under the eye it feels so good putting this on because it's got that cool tip and it feels so good. So I'm just gonna smooth this under the eye. This is also in the shade medium. I might actually get this in light as well so it kind of will be a little bit more highlighting under the eye. This one matches me perfect, but um, I might, yeah, I might get the light too. And I'm just gonna take a damp beauty blender and just blend that underneath. Do you see how this is like making your under eyes just look flawless and hydrated and seriously just perfect. I love this concealer so much. I've been honestly just grabbing this concealer every single day. I just, it's become my go-to, I love it. Okay, so that's the concealer. As you can see, it is like the most perfectly, beautifully hydrated under eye. And I could honestly not set it with the powder and just leave it as is and go throughout my day and it would be perfectly fine. It would not crease, it would not settle into lines and wrinkles. It just is beautiful. So I could leave it like this without setting it, but I just like to you know, set my under eye. So I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier, the secret brightening powder for the under eye. And I'm just gonna take my brush, we're just gonna set that underneath 
And like I said, you could really just leave it either way. You could leave it without setting it or you could set it and either way it won't, it won't crease or budge or anything like that. So that's the under eye you know, with the powder on. So you can see what, you know, the difference is with that. And then before I set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using this new blush. It's the CC Plus Vitality Brightening Cream Blush. This is a new blush of theirs, and it comes in a little compact like this, and it's a cream blush, and it's a beautiful rosy pink color, like one of the most natural flush colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this before I set the rest of my face so that I'm just putting this on top of my foundation. And I'm gonna be using this new brush. This is the brush that is supposed to go along with their cream products. So I'm gonna try this out today with this type of product because I usually use with my cream blushes like a stippling brush. So we're gonna try this today. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Do you guys see that color? Oh my God, it's beautiful. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheeks before I do like bronzer and all that stuff and set my face. We're just gonna put a little bit of this on first. Oh my gosh, this brush works perfectly with this product. That is gorgeous. Do you guys see that? Yeah, I actually did this um, blush yesterday and I used the stippling brush and this I like even better to apply. This brush is amazing, you guys. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you guys. It works perfect. Look at that, and look at that blush. Like, do you see how gorgeous that blush is? Oh, I love it. The color of this blush, I think it just comes in this one shade. It's the, called Naturally Pretty, that's the blush color. That blush, I'm telling you guys, is seriously gorgeous. Okay, now I'm gonna set the rest of my face, and I'm going to be using another new product by It Cosmetics. It's the Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. It says it's their sheer to full coverage optical blurring finishing veil. And again, this has the um, SPF 50 broad spectrum physical sunscreen, UVA, UVB protection. So again, it's another one of their powders. Like, do I have the other setting powder around here? I don't. Um, but it's like that setting powder, but this is a new powder. It's their CC Plus powder. So let's test this out today. I have not actually tried this yet. So I'm just gonna use my It Cosmetics. This is that Wonder Lux Heavenly Brush. <laughs> the name of it always, like I always forget the name of this, but it's the same brush I've been using since I got this brush like probably like a year ago and you guys have seen me use it in like every tutorial. Whenever I use a setting powder brush that I want like a light dusting, this is the brush I reach for. So I'm just going to apply this kind of just along the outside. And it's a, I can see it's like, it's a powdery product. It's kicking up some powder, but it's like very, very finely milled powder. It's not like a chunky powder or anything like that. It's actually really pretty. So this is the type of product powder that you can really um, use and buff into your skin as a foundation too. So I mean, it says that it's sheer to full coverage. So you, I guess you can really, you know, build this up if you want to just use that as your foundation as well. And I can tell you guys, it's a beautiful powder, like really pretty. Like I'm looking up close to my skin and it's seriously just blurred like everything on my skin, like lines, pores, like little imperfections. It really did just like blur that. And that's, it's really pretty. I like it a lot. So that's the CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. That is a really a good powder, so I like that a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna be dusting just a little bit of bronzer on today. I'm gonna to be using the Vita Liberata. This is that crystal mineral powder that I have been raving about as well. I have just been reaching for this powder nonstop. I'm gonna be taking that brush that comes with it. If you guys get this bronzer, it comes with or without the brush, and I seriously highly suggest you get the one with the brush because the brush is fantastic. So I'm just gonna take that and just sweep it along my hairline up here. And again, it just gives a super natural bronzer effect to the skin. I just, I love this bronzer so much. And I'm just going to take it, we're just gonna sweep a tiny bit on the cheeks. And I am gonna pull this down on my neck a little bit, just to bronze on my neck a little bit because my neck's kind of white. Do you guys see that bronzer? Seriously, it must have bronzer too, you guys. I'm telling you, it's. Out of all the bronzers I've bought lately, this is one that I've been definitely reaching for a ton. I love it. And then the highlighter I've been using is this Laura Geller. This is the Gilded Honey Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator. I got this 
with that came with this brush. I got this off of QVC, so I just came in the mail the, actually the other day, and I love it. The brush that comes with it is like quite interesting. Like, look at how that's shaped. It's like really like crazy looking. <laughs> but um, I actually tried it with this brush and with my normal highlighter brush, and this one actually worked better. So I'm just gonna take this and swirl that around, swirl that around, sweep that around like where I would normally do my highlighter. And it's just like, it's like not an intense highlighter. It's more of a, like I, from what they say, it's like more, just like an illumination, you know? It's like a lit from within kind of look. I watched like the little video on QVC, you know, that they always come with. Like when you're looking at the product that always has like a little video. And I always watch those videos because I'm so curious like what they, you know, say and then it always sells you on the product anyway. Um, but, so what they say is like you can really like use this all over your face. It's not like a specific thing where you have to use it as a highlighter because it's so different than a normal highlighter. You can literally go over your whole face with it and just give your skin like a very illuminated look. But, you know, I've just been using it as a highlighter and it's just so beautiful. So that is what we're going to do for those glowy cheeks today. Alright, so moving on to the lips, we're going to finish this up here. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever. 3C liner and this is such a good liner if you're looking for a liner to like overline your lips a little bit without looking so unnatural this one is like the perfect shade all right, and then I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit. And then I'm gonna be using this lip gloss. These are the ones I was telling you guys that you must try. This is in the shade Baby Doll. It's the Sephora brand, like Ultra Lip Gels or something they're called. I am so in love with these, you guys. They are so amazing on the lips. Seriously, I've been wearing them every single day and I just, I don't even put like a lip liner. I will just take this, swipe it on my lips and I am like out the door. Like this is such a must have. It has amazing pigmentation and stays on your lips forever, and it feels so good. And this gloss is more of a baby pink color, but when I pair it with this lip liner, it kind of darkens it up a little bit, but these lip glosses, I am telling you guys, you need to pick up. They are the best, and you will probably become addicted like me. So that is the final look using all those new IT Cosmetics products. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am telling you guys, these products are so Good, like I am so excited about these. Like seriously, where is it? Where is it? Where's that blush? This blush, oh my gosh, let's just let's just take a look at it again. Oh, this blush is so beautiful on the skin. I cannot get enough of it. I absolutely love it. And this powder, the CC Plus powder, like seriously, airbrush skin in a little compact. I'm telling you guys, serious must-haves. They are gorgeous. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, one more thing I wanted to share with you guys. I want to share this, where is it? I'm like feeling around. <laughs> this choker necklace. Okay, so I have to share this with you guys because I am in love with this. So my friend Melissa, she has an Etsy store. I will link it down below because she makes the best jewelry. So she made me this choker. She comes in like silver and gold and she customizes it to fit your neck like perfectly. So I wear this with like, it's like the perfect layering piece. Like this is a Stella and Dot, just like long uh, necklace and it goes perfectly with this. And then the bracelets that I'm wearing right now, she made as well. And I bought all these off her Etsy store. Like seriously, you have to check it out. I'm telling you guys, it's the perfect thing. So, cause look at this. Okay, so this is a normal bangle that I got from Stella and Dot. So look at how this fits compared to the way hers fit because she can customize the size. Like this fits, but it's like loose and dangly and I so prefer how these fit. Like they just fit like absolutely perfect. So I get like all my bangly type bracelets from her and I just love them. So I had to share these with you because she just started making these choker ones. I've been wearing it nonstop because it's like the perfect piece to wear alone or layered and it's just so pretty. So yeah, I will leave all her information down below because if you like this type of jewelry like I do, then definitely go check out her Etsy store. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this look. Definitely, I am loving these products. If you have tried them, definitely let me know your thoughts down below. But I love them. I love you guys as well. Thank you guys all so much for watching and subscribing and being here with me as always. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.